All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Fist Ultra Combo. In this video, we're going to go over a sort of free-to-play lineup, and this is going to be an all-saiyan lineup. So we're going to start with Bardock. Someone requested it in the comments, needed help with like synergy and like that. So I'm going to build a free-to-play saiyan lineup right now, and I'm going to go over why I choose Bardock right here. So starting off, you see his links right there with Frieza, Gohan. Those are the only two I have for him. That's all right. Now we're going to go to his skill. We're going to increase his defense for front row warriors. So you'll see why that matters in a minute because I'm going to have other people that link up with that. Now for his ultimate attack, it is AoE and increases defense for front row warriors by 25% and 35% for himself, which is really good. Now for his mini skill, it increases the parry rate by 40% for defense type warriors. So his war soul is like standard. Now let's see. If you go to his divine thing, you go to his Kai's Blessing, once it's max, it increases 50% block rate for allies behind him after his death, which lasts for three rounds. So I don't know if it's the ally directly behind him or all three allies behind him, but um, that's a pretty good uh, Kai's Blessing, if you ask me. So now the second character I'm going to add to the lineup is going to be the Mystic Gohan. So those are the only two defense type warriors I'm going to run in this lineup. So for his skill, he also increases defense. So those are his links right there, by the way, first of all. So he links with Unmixed Boo and Piccolo and Golden Frieza, but I only have two of them. So right now he increases defense for defense type warriors. So him and Bardock are going to be basically boosting each other up, which is pretty nice. Now if you go to his ultimate skill, he, um, he does more damage as his HP decreases and it's 40% max if it's awakened and it deals an extra 30% against attack type warriors. So uh, when he attacks in the column, he'll obviously be hitting an attack type warrior in the back. And yeah, so now let's go. If you go to the divine for him, the divine domain for him and you get his Kai's Blessing max, it increases the damage rate by 20% for allies in the back row after he dies. So usually by him being in the front row he'll die first and that'll basically boost the damage rate by 20 percent for characters in the back row which is really good and that lasts for two rounds after he dies guys real quick make sure to like and subscribe for more content comment what you guys want to see next let's get back to the video the next character i'm going to throw into the lineup is the super saiyan trunks now he's basically going to be the support the only skill type character and the only uh support for the back line so because the back line is going to be all attack characters he's going to be able to raise those um raise the attack for attack type characters which is pretty nice and the links he has right there are pretty easy to get i just don't have the goku black yet but um yeah he's just a pretty good and solid uh support i believe he also paralyzes also but uh yeah his ultimate can paralyze and is focused on hitting the, the unit with the highest HP and it deals more damage to defense type warriors. So yeah, now if you go into the Kai's Blessing after this, um, now you guys can also substitute him with the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but that's up to you. But I just think boosting the attack would be good. So now if you go into the Kai's Blessing, it increases the ultimate damage and crit rate by 10% if you have more Saiyans than your opponent. This whole lineup is Saiyans, so uh, 9 times out of 10, you're going you're gonna to outnumber your opponent with the amount of Saiyans you have. So that's good there. Now, getting on to the next character. So we have two defense warriors and a skill. Now the rest of the three are going to be attack. So we're going to start off with Kid Goku. So now, the reason I chose him is because he has all attack links, and I have them all at 60%. It's the Bulma, Krillin, and Master Roshi. He has the initial Rage War Soul, so he'll come into the battle with, um, you know, ready to do his ultimate. So his ultimate attacks in a column, it burns, and does 30% more damage to villains. Those are listed there. And it also has a chance to stun if it's awakened, so definitely try that out. Especially for people that are just beginning the game, this is definitely going to be a solid lineup. For you guys yeah, if we go into the divine domain again go to the kai's blessing which is the second one once you max that out his ultimate skill damage for saiyans uh it increases the ultimate skill damage for saiyans and he's also he becomes immune to burn which is pretty interesting so that's not bad so yeah that's why i threw him in there he's pretty easy to get i think you get him through events they had in the past now the next character that's 
gonna be an attack type character is gonna be the Super Saiyan Goku, if I can find him. There we go, right there. So just starting off the bat, his mini skill heals 5% when he uh, does damage with that. His links right there, Vegeta, Cell, and Frieza. I think his also 60% attack links, which is pretty nice. And his War Soul is pretty good. So that's his skill right there, like I just said, with the healing. His ultimate attack burns, and I think it's once it uh, is awakened, it recovers 100 rage points for him. But uh, for some reason, they added more for him in the Divine Domain. So I think it's called the Whis Blessing, but I'll show you guys. But right there also, his passive skill increases the attack for warriors. So just basically boosting the attack while the Bardock and the... Uh, and the Mystic Gohan hold the front line is the main concept of this, but um, he has a lot more. So if you scroll down to the Weiss's Ble um, I'll let you guys read the Kami's Blessing, but if you scroll down to Weiss's Blessing, I believe it is. So not there, not there, but that's the Max Kaioken. Also pretty good. A lot of characters don't even have these, but if you scroll all the way down to, I believe that's Weiss's Blessing, the Max Kamehameha. It uh, attacks enemies in a column, it burns, and reduces 300 anger points from them, and the characters that he hit can't build their rage meter for one round so that's pretty that's pretty crazy so i'll check out that animation real quick for you guys all right so that's pretty cool now last but not least the last character to go into this lineup is of course the character i use right now he is also a saiyan i'm pretty sure they count him as a saiyan in the game and not a villain but i'm gonna throw in the majin vegeta so, the obvious reasons why I use him, he has an initial war soul rage, and his links right there are Goku, Deborah, and Gohan, also attack links. And once you get the, the war soul level to 16 to 20, they'll be able to ultimate attack the first round if no one's lowered it, so hopefully you have more priority to hit first. But um, let's go to their mini skill. His mini skill just has a 20% chance to crit, I believe, yeah, yep, right there. His ultimate. It, um, once awakened, it has a 20% chance to paralyze and it attacks all enemies. And then the same thing, if you go into the Divine Domain, I'll let you guys read the Kami's Blessing and so on. But the main one is also the, the Whis's Blessing. So right there, he gains an extra 20% for have if you have this three SSS grade or above enemies on the field. Now, this is the big one, the Max Dark Shock. So right there, he reduces the healing taken by 90%. Uh, for two rounds, inflicting a static electricity on them for two rounds. And the, mi the mini skill will deal 30% extra damage if there is static electricity on the target. If there are four SSS grade characters or more, I believe um, it does more damage or something like that. So uh, that's the animation. Pretty cool. It looks like when he sacrificed himself in the anime. But yeah, guys, it's pretty much going to wrap up this episode. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'm out. Later.